kind of same Sweet, height. Sweet, come closer to me. You know, like last time when you were pulling me because oh cozy. <laughs> yeah. What are you watching? We are watching Beef. Because we really enjoyed episode one and we want to mm. keep going. And you guys seem to enjoy us watching it and our reactions. So keep giving us love. All the love. Yeah. And we'll keep watching. And if there's anything else you recommend that we should watch, put it in the comments below. Let's go. My keyboard has not connected. Doom, doom, doom. Technical errors already. Shit. Ah. Bitch ass handyman. Literally on carrying on where it ended. This is your oh, she's angry with a gun. Mm, is your husband home? No! I'm home! Fuck you! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I will say I totally relate to this kind of anger. Not that I've ever had a gun or wanted to kill anyone, but I will say that when something really like knocks you off the edge, then one, everything irks you. Yeah, and I have, just... I have shouted at birds before for being annoying. And as a woman, I will say there's nothing more frustrating when, and obviously this is kind of out of context because of uh, he was asking because he thought the husband was the guy who had cut him off. There's nothing more infuriating as a woman if someone comes to your house or whatever and asks, can I speak to your husband? Like, are you saying I'm incapable of following this train of thought? Like, you don't need my husband, talk to me. And then if I don't understand, I will tell you, I will get my husband, not the other way around. Anywho. I have worked too hard for this shit. Yeah. Look at this. Oh my God, this <laughs> Sweetie, do you not have a mop? I still want to know, is it really that easy to find someone's number plate or like location in the States from their number plate? Yeah, no one, no one commented in, uh, about our questions, although they were at the end of the episode. Maybe you guys didn't watch that long. Can you actually like Google someone's license plate and get their name? Please tell us. <laughs> Got you. Hello. Do you have any idea if you just fucked one? Huh? You useless, shameful little shit! I'm gonna hey, bitch. Oh. <laughs> you reached Acho Service Construction. Danny can't come to the phone. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? This is awkward. Huh. Looking at here. That's a butt. But the rapture a of being alive. There's a face over there in the spine. This is an interesting piece of art. And also, is she, she, he in a padded yes. cell? Luna is doing nonsense. But in the nude. Fascinating. This is a real art piece. And if so, by whom? Leave my cherry tree alone! Luna! Luna! This episode has already gone completely off the rails. What kind of weak ass steak is that? Yo, you remember that guy I got into that road rage with? Turns out it was a woman. Uh, sometimes rock bottom is your trampoline. I can't hear you. Life is precious, man. You can't, like, waste it, you know? You gotta take action. If you're hungry, eat a steak. You wanna feel the sun on your face? Like, I wouldn't he's call using, that a steak. No? He's also using the same girl he mm. tried to kill himself with. Is something you like, baby bro? I would not call that a steak. That's, that's some sad excuse for him. Take control, man. I am. Control. Yeah? We live in South Africa where you can get a steak like this for yeah, a good South price. Africa, South Africa is really, has really quality meat and at a really decent price. So, um, yeah, we can get a... That, that little excuse, that I call that bacon. We, we, <laughs> no, we use that for like stir fries and stuff. Yeah, like it's not it or, or for like a, to put it into like a roll. Like right now, in your one precious life, what is your plan? I hate that question. Well, once you change my customers back... When do you see yourself in five years' time? millionaire. Travel the world with my boys. Okay. 1K to 10K, 10K to 100, 100 to a million. Boom. You're just saying higher numbers. Yeah, well, what's your plan? Steak is mad overcooked. Because it's like half a millimeter thick? Honey, you shouldn't be cleaning up another man's piss. You never know what someone's going through in life. Might be bladder issues. Why else would he urinate on the floor? Did you upset him? Why are you assuming it's my fault? I'm not. This guy's not winning Husband of the Year awards you. anytime soon. I mean, we give him crap, but one, the man is on his knees cleaning up another man's piss so she doesn't have to. Credit there. And two, he's not wrong. 
you don't know what someone else is going to through that he'd be willing. But he to also doesn't school. realize what his wife is going through. That is true. There's, but I, all I'm saying is there's positives and negatives here. He 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 is thinking wider. Unfortunately, he's failing to see what's happening in his own home. God, that's a terrible coffee. But that water. Oh man. He better leave this in. He always leaves my crap in. He better leave his crap in. Being there usually make good coffee. Don't throw that out on the internet. No. Bean there, make better pods. Your beans are good, your pods are shite. Can you come across a little cold? George, he ran away smiling. Okay, well, anger is just the transitory state of consciousness. Best to let it go, he's already gone. What do you want to do? Go over there with your gun? That's not what the gun is George, for. <laughs> he came into our home and he violated our sacred space. Don't you want to, I don't know, did, go over there and say something? You know, be assertive. Don't hit me as an assertive guy. He didn't like that you're Japanese. <laughs> you're pulling the race card. Are you sure we're at the right address? I mean, it makes sense. He didn't scream homeowner to me. I could gloss this. Mm. Also, husband was kind of good looking. This? Now that is the back of an Asian head if I've ever seen one. <laughs> okay. She can say that because okay. she's Asian. Do you want to talk first since you know him? Howdy there, love bugs. We're looking My for wife. a Daniel Cho. What? He's a Korean guy, got a real like oily way about him. Uh, it's not that guy. Drives a red truck. Oh, the son. Yeah. I took over from the Cho family about a year ago. Older Korean couple, a little condescending. No, well, that sounds about right. <laughs> they folded the place because of a uh, police raid. Someone's running illegal goods out of here. Oh, sorry to hear that. But the son. Kind of sucks, right? Remember that road rage incident I told you about? Yeah. Turns out it was a woman. You hit a woman? No. Dude, that's not okay. No, no, no. I did not hit anybody, okay? I just, like, I, I pissed in her bathroom. And now she's writing negative <laughs> reviews and, like, killing my business. She's some rich bitch from Calabasas. You know, she's probably sitting at home all day eating, like, baguettes and jam or some shit. Yo. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Actually, she seems to be a really yeah. hardworking rundown. Get the title of your truck in the meantime. But I can't apply for a new business license. Yeah, you can. Shit's easy. Just do it under someone else's name. Use mine. Do you really want That's that? Definitely Yo, fraud. What is in this box? It's so heavy. Laptop <laughs> batteries. I got a friend in Busan. He sells me those shits oh, wholesale. Busan. Like we like wholesale. Busan boys. Completely legit. I'm paying tariffs. All that shit. Is he though? Yeah. Oh, of course. <clears throat> yeah. You think they did it? They're just kids. He's a glass, glass half full kind of guy. Honey, have you never changed a tire before? Does he look like the kind of guy? Well, Junie's gonna be done with school soon. Uh, yeah. This is your fault. I'll take it for 40 bucks. <laughs> it was 100% the kids. Just gonna say, if you own a car, you should know, you how, to should know how to change a tire. I'm not saying you need to be a full on mechanic, but you should know how to change a tire. You should know how to jump start your own car. And check oil and water. Check oil, water, like the basics. The basics. And I mean, we're in South Africa, we're a country where we get all of that done for us at the petrol stations. Like we have petrol attendants who will check your oil and so on. So we don't have to know how to do it. So I assume that there's a lot of people in South Africa itself that don't know how to do it. But mm -hmm. I mean, I was taught well by a single mom taught, yeah. who said you need to at least as a woman be able to like do the bare minimum like if you get stuck somewhere you should be able to change your own tire so you don't have to rely on other people to do it so learn how to change a tire yeah it's not that hard honestly you know, make sure you pinch pinch your back when you get down there and then also like activate your corpus. Oh, oh. You're telling the fit guy how to do this? I was gonna say he looks like he has the stuff. You should start a new contracting company as brothers. Why? Call me lazy like 14 times a day. That's just tough love, man. I see you're ready to step up, I can tell. You can actually listen to me? Yeah. He definitely won't. I got ideas. Yeah, dude, we're a team. What you got? Cho bros. Yo. That's perfect, dude. Cho bros. That's perfect. Cho bros. Yes. That's the only yes. input you will ever have. Paperwork right now. You know, I always liked Veronica. She told me how to read. Nice. Oh, well, I wasn't ready. I was I take care of you, fucker? <laughs> Yo, she's the move, man. Just trust me on this. Tense.
I mean, I can't believe we met through Jordan, of all people. Oh, my God. I Typ- know, typical right? adult crazy. conversation. We should do this more often. Uh, AKA, never do let's her. never do it again. I'm annoyed that I rescheduled my meeting with her because of June. No. It must be so nice getting to spend all day at home with Izzy. Yeah. No, it's great. Yeah, when you say, yeah, no. But she I hates to spend all day at home. Oh, no, of course. Yeah, I my nonprofits. Say, yes. And I write, did you see the road rage thing on next door? Is that an app? Oh, my gosh. Look at this. It's you. I mean, can you believe that? I just can't understand what those people are so angry about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I mean, most people don't understand that. Um, anger is just a transitory state of consciousness. I love that. You're so smart, Amy. <laughs> No, really, no. You can tell a fake friendship mm-hmm. when you see it. Friends this is benefits. not how I speak to my besties. No, you would be like Tanya. This fucking bitch cut me off. I'm gonna kick his ass. <laughs> and Tanya would be like, okay, when do we go? <laughs> when do we hide the body? <laughs> we can do it. You know, uh, we do maintenance, renovations, paint, yard work, inside work, like e- everything. Yeah. Stop by. I'm more than merrier. You can't, no, but yeah. honestly, it's a mm. community. That's how you can Remember get in to get your work out. At our old church. You have to suck it up, <laughs> suck it up. I remember everything. That's what you want. You want to, to get your in in a community and then become their contractor. Dude, what does this bitch want from me, man? Like, she got a house, she has kids, like, what do I got? Dude! Well, you pissed on her floor, man. She was quite happy to let it go until you yeah, okay. found yeah. her and yeah. peed on her floor. Dude, okay, thanks for the heads up. Yeah, man, no problem. Uh, You're the one who looked her up first. Mm. Hey, honey, uh, let me help you with that. Turn around. It's fine, I can do it. Oh. That's funny. <laughs> she has to get on his dead blood. She's like, you see, you can't leave. That's cute. I can tie a tie. George, come on. He's still mad at me. Let him. Her... Don't emasculate him. He wants to do it. So stop messing with me and leave me alone, or else. You hear me? This is your last warning. You do not want to unleash the beast. You don't. Realistically, who would take things this far? <laughs> I feel like there are people out there who would. Really? Of course. Yeah, one, there's especially now with the internet and so on. This whole part, the whole commenting and creating fake uh, yeah, accounts. Keyboard to, warriors, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know if they would take it, and I mean, she wasn't going to take it, like I said, that far to like look him up or anything until he came to her. But this whole process that she's doing right now, 100%. Fair. The internet, man. This is also totally illegal. So if he opens her account to look at her and there's just like one picture there, I would already mm-hmm. have like... Immediate Immediate. Sus. He, immediate that's suspicious. Someone the motel near Region Waters. You should really be wearing gloves, dude. Apparently, before I was born, um, and then Hurricane Harbor opened up. So I've never really been to either. Yeah, hey, your I brother's got this down. I just want to say you might be doing the work, but he's definitely creating the relationship with the customer. Yo, you done yet? It's called client services. Mm-hmm. I'm not joking. I mean, don't take her out, but a little bit of flirty flirt over there and over there, being nice, asking questions. She's bad, right? Gloves, dude, gloves. I mean, come on. (laughs) Especially because it wouldn't just come out of the hair, there would be other. There's a reason I keep my hair short. That's one of them. Space. Oh, he fell in love with the interplay between void and substance. So naturally, the curvature of the seat is modeled after the contours of my own backside. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that would be really ergonomic. Well, except not everybody has the same butt. No, for her it would be ergonomic. For everyone yes. else, it would be crap. Hey, man, when you're 40, 50, you're going to want to come home to your girl making kimchi chicken. Maybe I want her to come home to me making chicken parm. What? What's wrong with kimchi stew? Kimchi stew is great. Dude, it's okay to mess around with white girls right now, but like, when you gotta settle down, you gotta listen to mom and dad bring home a nice Korean girl. You know what I'm saying? You think you're gonna watch the grandkids looking up at them with like huge round eyes like fucking bugs? Yo, you waste way too much. Okay, but also mixed babies. Awesome. All kinds of mixed babies. Seriously, they're usually the cutest. They become mixed German and French. 
Yeah, but that's because we're too similar. I mean, like really mixing, mixing, not like this is going to be a sound so weird. But like proper. Like if you look at the colored kids in, in South Africa, so cute, because they have like the best of both features. Here's a mixed baby. Alice! This is Alice. Why are you talking all weird? I gotta build my business before I start a family. I gotta listen to mom and dad and bring home a nice Korean girl. Bro, just live a little. Live. I am live. Mm, are you really not? All right. You're trying so hard, and it's actually making you mm -hmm. fail. It's making me sad for you. There are more important things in life than money. And you clearly have it already, so... Together. I mean, the, the least you could do is help, you know? Yeah. I do help. I, I help all the time. Oh, not in public, guys. No awareness of how much I have on my plate right now. You are obsessed with money. Mm -hmm. That's all you ever talk about anymore. George? I'm supporting your business. Liking me as bikini pics is helping my business. How? Oh, I, sweetie. Look at the photos. I just read the captions. Do you think I'm stupid? Let him look at the photos. Oh, is it honesty time? Is that what we're doing now? What are you talking about? In public in a wide open space. Oh my god. Hmm? Still, still with that gun? When are you gonna let that go? Well, to be fair, he walked in on you pointing the gun at your phone. I was masturbating. <laughs> I was masturbating with the gun because sex with you is so, um... Oh dear. It's so, uh... So what? Say it. So what? It's vanilla. But then why didn't you talk to him, sweetie? You can try some crap. It's about the piss? The piss? If it's about the piss, just say it's about the piss. Well, you know what? Yeah, maybe in a way it is about the piss. Because yeah. George, he yep. pissed in the house that I bought all by myself. That house that I don't even get to enjoy because I'm always busy working. When so then, one, stop working for a minute. And two, if the sex is too vanilla, then Talk to your husband. Communication, man. Could save all of the relationships. I don't fuck guns. <laughs> I'm 100% on your side, dude. You shouldn't. There is a big gap between vanilla and masturbating with a gun. <laughs> Actions have consequences. So I'm gonna find you and take what little you have. She's in your head, man. Yo. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did she use his paint? Because that would be even more beautiful. Damn. You're fired from Chobros. I'm fired. He owns it. You're fired. I'm the one who came up with the name. Can't. Fire me, you fucking idiot. Companies under my name, I can fire whoever I want, including you, bitch. Are you he kidding? is really quite bitch? right. Bitch, real yet. The only reason I asked you is because I can't use my name. Well, whose name are you gonna use, huh? Mom, dad, you don't have anyone else. Well, Isaac already offered, get the fuck out of here, man. Isaac? No blow. Really? I mean, I get that you're down in the dumps, but you're digging your own hole. I mean, also, yes, shit goes wrong, but like... Literally, his brother is all he kind of has Exactly, left. and you're throwing everything away. I mean, like, there's... And I get yeah. you're angry. I get you're angry, and people tend to, you know, go and say things they don't mean when they're angry. But you keep digging the hole deeper. One can only think that a semi-functional adult would now go home, think about it, and then apologize to his brother the next day. She is getting all the rushes she needs that she mm -hmm. isn't she getting at home. She gets turned on by the thrill. We need to talk. Yeah. Look, I think we need couples therapy, and I know how you feel about Let's this. Let's do it. Good. Really? Yeah. Yeah. George, I, I still remember our first date thinking we are a perfect pair. I'm sorry, I can't remember the fact that he's sitting in <laughs> the same height. <laughs> I want us to stay that way. I love you. I love you. Ghost moment. Oh, shit. Hey, I think that was pretty cool. Yeah, it really does. Also, he totally should have 
used that moment with the dirty hands to... That would have not been vanilla. Exactly! In the workshop, on the pottery table. Driving drunk. Oh, she went full. <laughs> I mean... That's a little savage. Bitch! <laughs> What you gonna do? Because um, a house like that, a neighborhood like that, mm -hmm. there are cameras, dude. But and, he's and, drunk. Yeah, but at that point, if she were logical, which of course she isn't, you have the recording, you take that to the police, you get them arrested, problem solved. But that's not what's gonna happen. But that's not what's going to happen. <sighs> I like it though. It keeps you watching. And it's very... I mean, in a way, it's actually quite real. I was about to say, like, there's it, something very relatable about it, but yeah. like, obviously don't take it this far. Very few people who, who have logical thinking will go that far, but it is the human emotions behind it and the build-up and mm. the way it's handled in some ways is actually very relatable because it's like stuff we all do. Especially recently in this country, I've been having, I have moments like that between load shedding and then like work and then just shit getting more expensive and stuff. You have moments where you just like, fuck everything. <laughs> Load shedding is power cuts that we have because we don't have enough supply for the people. So yeah, it's, it's, it's mm. it, it is, yes, it's obviously like they've turned this whole thing to like a hundred, but the basic human emotion and the basic like human interactions are actually mm. so common and so relatable because of it. Like we've all been in some of these situations before. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see how it's going to play out. Like. Is there going to be a happy ending? Or are they going to stay together? Is there going to be like a breakup, divorce, whatever? Because in the long run, I can't see that relationship working. They're very different people. I don't really see. I wonder yeah, if they're doing it a lot because of the kid. Which is common. But yeah. I mean, technically speaking, again, if and I've said it multiple times in this episode, it's all about communication. If the marriage went down, I mean, it's clearly not completely down the crapper. But if she's had issues with their sex life for a while, why not talk to your husband? You are married after mm. all. If you're unhappy, tell him, and then you can w try to fix it first. And then if that doesn't work, then okay. But then at least she, you've tried. Maybe she's worried about telling him because she's worried that she might overreact or something because obviously after she let out her frustration on the guy's car, she was willing to talk because she's now, okay, now I'm in a better place. Yeah, but then that's what therapy is for, which he'd obviously asked for before and she'd said, said no. Which is a cultural thing as well. I know that in a lot of cultures, um, therapy and, and needing help and mental illness is not seen mm. as openly as it is in others. And it's seen as like a weakness and no, we, we deny that our families have uh, mm. mental health issues and you'll deny it. Like there's cultures who will literally deny it to like the end. Yeah. Like, even if your kid commits suicide or whatever, it'll be like, oh, no, but there were other issues. We don't know what happened. Um, not, you know, years of depression and anxiety and whatever. I'm curious to see what this Isaac guy is going to... There's something dodgy happening with those... Well, he, if I remember correctly, he's the one who got his parents into trouble. Yes, that's what I'm with. saying. There's definitely yes. more dodginess happening. Dodgy. Those, those batteries. He 100% also knew when the parents were involved that... He, it was wrong. That the, the items weren't kosher. Yeah. So that's definitely going to come and bite him in the rear. 100%. There are a couple of like loose strings that I'm waiting to see how they're going to come back in. It's definitely... They're going to implode. Yeah. <sighs> I assume we're going to keep having like a wave motion where we're mm. going to come to a point where they're like nearly willing to let it go and then Something's something gonna... in their life is going to like reap spark the the flame and it's just going to keep escalating. And then the question is which one of the two is going to let it go first or take it too far mm. take it that one step too far or are the two of them gonna end up together which would be super weird i really hope the showrunners don't take it there well unless they pull it off nicely they, they, there is a possibility that somehow they oh, but it would be so cliche well, but depends, that they end like... up friends or something maybe it, it, it all depends how they pull it off if they do it like really nicely and you like it all depends on the character development how you how they play out the characters i think hey it's episode two let's see what happens i don't even know how many episodes there are that's Momo. He's the other one. This is also a mixed race baby. Look, he's even Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anywho. We're going to go eat now because I'm uh, starving. Episode one is up here if you want to watch that. And if you've watched this far. Remember to leave some comments for us. Like, subscribe, share. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> oh, why am I doing that? I thought I could pause the camera by pressing the space bar. <laughs>